Hello everyone, it's Tuesday the 17th of September, a beautiful sunny morning uh, here uh, in my office in the Key Centre. Um, I hope you're doing well at the moment, Just this is just a short um, update in advance of this weekend and um, and the last kind of, you know, our movement into the kind of latter part of September. Um, thank you so much to everyone who was uh, able to join in in one sh way or other um, with Pauline Rook's funeral uh, and uh, it was a really wonderful occasion of celebration and thanksgiving. Um, you can see the uh, recording on our YouTube channel. It was great that people were able to join in via live stream. Uh, we're very thankful for Pauline and all she contributed to the life of Christchurch and and wider um, in her service through the NHS uh, in nursing uh, through doorstep here, uh, just all sorts of ways in which she made contact and connected with people. It was also great on Sunday night to start the Sunday soak. It seems to be a good, one good way of, of engaging together uh, at this time when things are so uncertain uh, and, and so challenging in terms of what we can and can't do. So we were able to do something, we are able to do something, we're able to soak it, it worshipfully in God's presence together, um, uh, reflect on his word, soak in his word, uh, do some simple things like that. We were able to have some people in church and others online through the live stream. So we're going to continue with that for the time being, um, keep developing it, um, uh, but keeping it simple as well, I think that's uh, one of the lessons we're learning uh, this this time, aren't we? Just keep things simple. So do join in with that uh, six o'clock Sundays, it's Sunday evenings. Um, we do have space in Christchurch uh, uh, to be able to gather some people in there. Um, uh, so, but it's on a first come, sir, first serve basis, and that's the same with all of our different. Uh, uh, ways of expressing church at the moment as people and places of discipleship is simply a matter of choose the one place where you're going to uh, really commit that doesn't include the Sunday soak and it doesn't include the communion zoom at 9 30 on the Sunday morning but all the other things just choose your people and place of discipleship stick with that it may not be every week it may be every, every other week maybe once a month connect with people in between, you know, seek to grow as a disciple in the in-between places. Um, it's not just about coming together in an event. Uh, and uh, and the, the connection points that we're developing, uh, what we're calling P-Pods, uh, they are just opportunities for us to encourage one, one another in faith, to find out things to pray for, um, and just to have a bit of kind of human contact at a time when we have been so distanced uh, and uh, and it's really important that we do these kind of things so it's tricky and challenging it's frustrating as well uh, because because you know we want many of us just want to go to everything i do uh, but i can't go to everything so i have to go to one thing and commit to that um, and i encourage you to do the same. Uh, um, so uh, uh, bear with it, be patient, encourage others, uh, and, uh, and, and, and don't forget that God is the God who is with us. Uh, and so what, what we do with others, uh, as we do it with him, will have an effect, um, uh, will be an encouragement, uh, will, will grow us, uh, will also mean that his good news is shared uh, with those who are near to his kingdom. Uh, so be encouraged at this time. Uh, there's, a, there's various updates going out, of course, on email. There's information uh, around and about. Um, do stay in contact.